Introduction to Compensation Management The term compensation, as a substitute word for wages and salaries, is of recent origin. Pay or compensation represents an exchange between the employee and the organization. Compensation should be viewed as the strategic management of wages and salaries. Objectives of Compensation Equity Compensation management strives for internal and external equity. Internal equity requires that pay be related to the relative worth of a job so that similar jobs get similar pay. External equity means paying workers what other firms in the labor market pay comparable workers. Inefficiency The objective of efficiency are reflected in attempts to link a part of wages to productivity or profit, group or individual performance, acquisition and application of skills and so on. Macroeconomic stability It can be achieved through high employment levels and low inflation. Efficient allocation of labor It implies that employees will move to wherever they receive a net gain. Principle of Compensation Formulation External Relativities Market rates as affected by supply, demand and general movements in pay levels. Salary Salary Relativities between jobs within the organization depending on the values attached to different jobs. Individual Worth The value of the individual's performance to the organization. Significance of Employee Compensation To an employee, pay is a primary reason for working. For some individuals, it may be the only reason. For most of us, it is the means by which we provide for our own and our family's needs. Compensation is also important to an organization. It represents a large proportion of expenditure. Compensation is also significant in the operation of the economy. Let us understand compensation decision. There are three core decisions, those involving pay level, pay structure and pay system. Supporting, there are three other decisions concerning pay form, pay treatment for special groups and pay administration. All the decisions are influenced by a number of environmental and organizational variable. Examples of their variables are the economic, social or cultural, and legal environments, as well as the organization's structure and workforce. Here are the determinants of compensation decision. Compensation decisions are also affected by the dynamics of the particular organization. Employee pay must be consistent within the organization structure. Finally, compensation decisions are affected by the worldwide information highway. The social environment is changing dramatically following the entry of women into the workforce. Valuing diversity while taking compensation decisions is very important. Let's now look at why theory and compensation. Victor Broom formulated Valence Instrumentality Expectancy Why Theory. Valence stands for value. Instrumentality is the belief that if we do one thing, it will lead to another and expectancy is the probability that action or effort will lead to an outcome. An incentive or bonus scheme works only if the link between effort and reward is clear and the value of the reward is worth the effort. Compensation Benchmarking Xerox Corporation in US adopted a compensation benchmarking process with four phases. Number 1. Planning Phase Number 2. Analysis Phase Number 3. Integration Phase Number 4. Action Phase In each of these phases, there were action items that needed to be accomplished. Let us look at each phase in the next slides. Planning Phase Issues that were to be addressed What will be benchmarked? Who will be the benchmark companies? How will the data be collected? Analysis phase Are the benchmarked companies better? If so, by how much? Why are they better? 
How can we apply what we have learned to our business? Integration phase. Have the results been accepted by management? Do goals have to be changed or modified based on the results? Have these new goals been communicated to all affected parties? Action phase. Number one, have the steps required to achieve the desired goals been identified? Number two, is progress being tracked? Number three, is there a plan for recalibration of the benchmarking? However, the Xerox experience showed that if the first two phases, the most important in the benchmarking process, are carried out effectively, then benchmarking will have a greater chance of success in the next two implementation phases. Compensation Plan A compensation plan is defined as the components of an organizational compensation. A well-designed compensation plan helps ensure equity within the organization. A suitably designed compensation plan, mixing both strategic and statutory perspectives, optimizes the cost of compensation and simultaneously helps the organization achieve its strategic intent. Mistakes in compensation designing Number 1. First, an organization often finds it difficult to distinguish between a bonus and an incentive. Number two, the second mistake is the compensation design is the propensity of organizations to solve compensation claims on an ad hoc basis. Number three, and the third mistake occurs when an organization devises equity participation plans that are too complicated.